Leafles, how's it all going? And oh man, what are you doing tonight, Tom? You've got uh, some shake and bake, got an air fryer, chicken legs, and then, whoa, what's up with the open pit? Something, <laughs> one, of those, one of these things don't belong here. Well, you know what? I want to do some uh, shake and bake extra crispy. I was looking on the back, and they have crispy barbecue chicken dip boneless skin. This is for boneless skinless chicken breasts and barbecue sauce and coat with coating mix. Bake is directed on its package. And I said, well, that's kind of interesting. Now, what I did was I, I did thin that out a little bit. I didn't want it as thick as it would come out uh, of the bottle normally. And you know I like that open pit. So I, I've never done this before, folks. Uh, so I have no idea whether this is going to work or not. So <laughs> stay, stay tuned and you'll find out like I will. All right, so I've had people ask me, why don't you use the bag that comes with the shake and bake? And uh, here's the reason why, folks. It's 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 long and narrow. I mean, it's you can only get one in there at a time, and it's hard to reach. And I know it's for shit, and I don't like doing that. And I mean, long and narrow is probably good for other things, but in this case, uh, <laughs> I kind of like to use kind of like to use a Ziploc bag. So we're gonna get our shake and bake in there, and then get the Dunkin'. All right, let's see if I can do this with one dry hand, and this is gonna be my wet hand. Uh, I've got the chickens already washed, and uh, folks, remember to wash your hands real good when playing with uh, raw chicken and such. Uh, so there's my dunking action here. And you can see you get some of it on there. And then we just want to put it in the bag. Here, I'll push this aside. I'll show you a little bit better. Put it in the bag, and then I'm going to roll it around and get it nice and coated. And I don't know if I'm going to be double dunking this today. This might just be a single dunk. But you know what? What would happen if he did? Let's, like I said, folks, we're just testing things out here. So well, stuff stays on there, so this might be worth some of it falls off. I don't know if that's gonna be worth it or not. So we're gonna maybe we'll try some of them double dunked and maybe some of them we won't, but you definitely do get more on there when you double dunk it. So there it is. So into the air fryer, that's going to go. I'll get the other ones done and give you a look-see before we put it on. All right, so they are all ready to go. Uh, like I said, I have no idea whether this is going to work or not. I did spray a little bit, just a little bit of canola on there just to help round things up. And for a lot of breadings, you got to do that. I can't remember. I've used, I think I've used this before, and I don't think I had to, but eh, just to be on the safe side. So uh, time, temp. I always cook, remember, 400, and then we'll just leave it at 400. We'll give you a look-see in about 10 minutes. Uh, just press play. Doggone it, I got a phone call, folks, and I lost all track of time. Good thing it was only on 15 minutes because, uh, uh, yeah, she burned a little bit. Oh, let's see what the other side looks like here. Okay, the other side's looking pretty good. So we'll brown up the other side and give you a look-see. Yeah. You know, one of the things I was worried about, and it could be the sugar that's in the open pit uh, that's causing it to burn a little bit. So that's that's the very first thing I thought, thought about was what about the sugar? So give these, uh, I mean, it's going to be edible. It's, gonna, it's just not going to be picture perfect like everybody likes to see. But uh, we'll uh, <laughs> keep on going and uh, you keep on watching. Well, I just said, th thought I'd show you uh, here as I flipped it over, folks. I, I show things whether they turn out or not, but some of the breading has fallen off. So this is uh, definitely um, very fastly turning into a fail. So <laughs> I'll tell you what, keep on watching and uh, you see the rest of the train wreck. All right, let's take another look at these beauties, shall we? Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> So I'm just cooking them till they're done at this point, folks. I, got, I, I always take my chicken more than 165. So we're going to go a little bit further and uh, give you a look-see at the final scrumptious moment. <laughs> All right, so there's the final product. You know, I was looking back at the box and wondering what, what, what I did wrong. So we go back to the crispy barbecue chicken. It says boneless, skinless chicken breast. Barbecue sauce and coat with coatings and bake as directed on the package. And you go back to package and it says heat oven to 400. And you know, eggs and all that. So, I, you know, I, I think I did everything the way I should have done it. But I, I gotta be honest with you. 
It's the sugar. It's the sugar that's in, 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 the, uh, in the open pit that does it. Um, I don't think there's going to be anything wrong with it. It's going to maybe be a little burnt, but it's still edible. Take a bite here. Well, it's definitely burnt chicken. <clears throat> burnt breading, but uh -huh. burnt chicken though. Um, probably scrape it off the rest of it because that's dinner tonight, folks. <laughs> folks, I show you whether it succeeds or fail. This one, I, do, I did it for you because it's right here. You know, and maybe it works on uh, the chicken breasts uh, better than it does on the chicken legs. And maybe that's what it was intended for. You know, my mistake there. So, Tom Horseman on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed this. Thumbs up, leave a comment. As I know you will. Thanks for watching.